that in 2018 has developed a framework on measuring gender and trade statistics. And today we have six pilots who have successfully tested this framework and compiled experimental indicators on gender and trade statistics, which can inform trade policy in the future. La prise en compte du genre dans les statistiques du commerce extérieur révèle une grande importance parce qu'elle permet d'une part de mesurer la contribution des femmes dans le commerce extérieur et d'autre part de pouvoir identifier les différents challenges auxquels ces dernières font face car les challenges, les difficultés que les femmes rencontrent dans le commerce extérieur ne sont pas forcément les mêmes que rencontrent les hommes et l'identification de ces challenges permettra donc aux décideurs politiques de prendre des décisions plus ciblées, plus appropriées, sensibles au genre, afin que ces décisions soient plus efficaces. So trade affects women and men differently depending on where they operate in the economy and also gender inequalities uh, can limit the impact of trade in terms of its effectiveness. So we are looking at this uh, because we're trying to address the, the data gap in gender and trade statistics. We don't have enough data to be able to make evidence-based decisions. Uh, we don't understand where women are operating in the trade economy or what risks and opportunities they might have in trade. The, the, the micro-linking methodological approach is actually feasible. And that's an area I would recommend that we invest more time we invest more resources and develop our skills to be able to, to utilize microlinking fully. Uh, the other, that one is more sustainable because actually administrative data generated by government agencies is enormous on trade. What is actually lacking is the disaggregation, the linking of system to harness that. From this project, we learned that uh, there is a need to use more and more administrative data and combine it with survey results because international practice showed that high quality of statistical products can be derived by combining administrative data with survey results. At the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe and other organizations of the United Nations, we want to support countries in developing better gender statistics. Then we also want to achieve that this is done sustainably, that this is not just one project that we, we carry out, but that it leads to a sustainable production of such statistics. Because in the end, when a phenomenon is measured, it also is possible to act upon it. The project allow us to understand what are data availability, what are data gaps, and what are countries' capacity, not only in terms of producing trade and data statistics, but in terms of collaborating in this area. And that is a key achievement of the project. We confirmed our expectations uh, regarding the women uh, participation in trade, uh, gender inequality in trade sector, and uh, now we have actual data uh, on this uh, sector and uh, policymakers can use uh, actual data. We actually now know that the data that we are collecting, it can actually give us a lot of business intelligence, which we can actually use in crafting data-based uh, policies, which are used to actually address a lot of uh, gender disparities within our economy. Les résultats du projet, j'allais dire, seront un instrument parmi tant d'autres qui vont permettre aux autorités d'avoir une idée plus précise de l'existant dans le domaine du commerce. Et leur permettra également de pouvoir mettre en place des stratégies pour affiner davantage les politiques pour une meilleure inclusion. The lessons that we've learned from this pilot project is that sex disaggregated uh, data is very crucial in terms of making policies in Kenya, especially for gender in trade. We will empower the women and they'll be able to contribute more to the economy of Kenya.